She said plan wars. You've been waiting a couple of years. Fighting wins is finally here. How did we make that super clear? Yep, we got plan wars. Now you got plan wars! Clash of clans. Prepare for clan wars. Download for free. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Hollywood Shono here. I'm about to give you another Clash of Clans video. And we show off our current roster as of Sunday, April 20th, which is Easter and also pot smoking holiday for people. Even though it's very retarded that they're both together. But as you can see, this is our current roster and I am leading the pack as far as the lowest goal three. Although I was at about 1,850 trophies, I did trophy down intentionally because targets were getting too difficult with using my standard lineup so we look at our war log and currently we are four in one amongst our clan with our last victory against the chinese going 83 and 77 they did have a higher average destruction but like usual our clan is very active and when b hughes or anybody else does screening you're not donating participating in the war better go find yourself another alliance so we're going to show our attack on sky of love and we start off by lightning spelling one and only air defense, which will pretty much make this play academic. As I said, in 11 dragons and the barbarian king on the bottom, take out from the bottom. Yeah. 11 dragons, no. I can't believe it's 9, I don't think I trained for 11. Considering that with one air defense, you probably get by with 3 or 4 dragons. You know what to fight. You know, they have a bunch, a few archers up that I trained, but I didn't feel like getting rid of them. When we take out the archer tower, a lot of the middle is decimated early. Now we got dragons all over the place, and the Barbarian King is still up. Very little life left. And a bunch of resources to get taken out. Well, the fight very academic and ended very quickly. As you can see here, the Barbarian gets destroyed by the large box. It's set up by the archers, so... An easy 100% victory on Sky of Love, giving me my 3-star victory in the Clan Wars number 5, as we went 4-1. and one. Now we're going to show another video. We're going to go into our replay. And we're going to show off Mr. K's attack video against some Chinese guys. Now with about five hours left, we decided to go and attack the one-star people at the bottom of the list. And Miss Robbie's attorney also did help us get the victory with six stars. Where does the heal spell go? One thing to note, when you land your spells, they always go in the middle, so always aim a little bit of space. But the air defense is gone and healers are in play, so it's very difficult for the giants to knock out the healer. And the only way you can use giants on defense is if you don't have any other units going out, use them on offense and we'll go after the play. So Kyle's decimating the outside of the so this is a brilliant way to use them. Get them all to the practice and then take them out. And the archer tower on the bottom is getting distracted by the giant. The favorite target of the archer tower. Oh, the wither tower is taking out some of the archers in the game. That many giants up doing no damage. The healer. Pretty academic from this point on. As wizards are decimating the Chinese guy's face. <laughs> Town Hall is about to go down, so Mr. K gets a 3-star victory, 20,700 gold and elixir for that fight. Now we're going to go into our logs. We're going to show off some of our better videos. But first we're going to show off Hollywood Shono's 99% victory with Dragon. And this was a major tip off. Well, we first air defense the middle air defense, which would be the hardest to get rid of. Then we send Dragon inside as it was a little spoiled area, taking out the second air defense quickly. This 
probably would have been a good time to have about five or six lizards off the heat. Or have the Barbarian King up top. Hopefully because they'd be able to get to that air defense and hit it out. Here we got some dragons on the clan castle of wizards. Let's get rid of them. And we have one dragon getting smoked by the air defense and hitting other targets. And the barbarian king goes down by the dragons. Now that the dragons are off to the west, a couple of them are going after that elixir. The only bad thing about using dragons is that they do not have any smart attack. They'll pretty much just mindlessly go after everything. And that's where it's nice to have balloons, especially later on. And if you pair them up with giants, it's even more annoying because the balloons will be safe and the giants will go after the balloons. The only thing that counters that is air defense. If you use balloons to level 5 and above, which I look forward to doing, that would be a big help. I think that at Town Hall 8. Gonna come keep the dragons are taking out the resources on top. And one lone dragon took out the gold mine. It's now gonna get ransacked by the air defense. So we have, I believe, four or five giants still up. The dragon's still up. And another balloon is gonna hit a lot of dragons. And a big balloon takes out one of the high health dragons. Now we're down to four dragons. Another one is shot down. So we're down to three. And the air defense goes down with two dragons remaining. We have 23 seconds to take out these four buildings. So if the dragon, one of the dragons would have went south, they probably would have got it. Now we have this elixir storage and the dark bear. And they get set up and they don't get a chance to attack, so. Unfortunately, only 99% damage, 46,000 gold in the elixir, and Clan Wars really does cripple you as far as resources go until after the war. Nonetheless, a very solid victory for Hollywood Shono. And we're going to show a replay from Robert27 getting a 100% on Rock Man. The first thing he did was lightning the North Air Defense. But the thing that baffles me is why would you send dragons to the north when you take out that specific air defense? And Robert is still fairly new with dragons, so I'm sure this time around he'll get it better. At the end of watching my YouTube video, he has been taking good notes. Black Cannon is knocked out. There is a clan dragon out, and there's a few wizards out. He gets shot down quickly. Well, the dragon is slow. Wizard Tower will not be able to do much with the dragon. The whole north side is pretty much eradicated, and now is when you have to deal with the air defense. And it's just a part shot off, and that dragon is definitely going to lose almost at full life. Quickly knocked out. Now the air defense is taken on the dragon after the town hall. And the dragon circles around and set up by the air defense. It's very important to know where the dragons actually go, and it's very important for people who are using them. They'll usually make a clockwork motion instead of going directly at people. So if you want them to hit the air defense in the middle, you have to put them at the bottom. Otherwise, they're going to circle around and you can almost throw the fight like Robert does. Now we have one Tesla Tower, one Arch Tower, and that balloon hits the dragon. We got three dragons left. One of them goes down. One of them goes after a spell factory. And the research lab. Finally, they team up and get rid of the air defense. Now it's two dragons taking out the clan castle. One taking out the archer tower. Now they gang up on that clan castle to get rid of it. Now we're going to speed it up a little bit. That balloon hits the dragon. Pretty academic to this point out. And they're going to take out the gold mine for the 100% victory against Roxanne. Getting 37,000 gold elixir, 30 dark elixir for the team. Well done, Robert. And that is the type of effort we need. Sometimes it's better to wait rather than get off quick attacks. 
Now we're going to show off a defense from Bihu02 against Fengwa. This was brilliant. Send Giants to the bottom. And the Giants on offense they will not attack the clan castle. We're going to plug away at the Giants. As those Wall Breaker do get hurt. The Wizards will not get attacked by the Giants. The Barbarian King has to do it. And he's got a rage still out. Still does not manage to take out all the Wizards as there's two left. The Barbarian King does take out a couple of units. And the Wizards smoke all of the Archers. We well, only we have 14 seconds left. And Fengua from the Chinese Guild got decimated. Stole absolutely nothing. A brilliant victory by Brian. One of our clan officers. And we're going to show this replay from Jacob where he got 49%. However, this is the wrong Jacob. Now, in a base like this, the first mindset is you want to take out the stuff on the outside. And that's not a bad strategy because any buildings that get up when you're using dummy units, you still have to pass around. And certain units like barbarians four dragons will still have to go through those units, so taking them out is better. Now the archers are going to piss off the barbarian king, and that's going to be bad for this archer setup. And this is where Jacob likes to use minions, and with this setup here, clan castle and minions can each get a great strategy. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting about seven or eight barbarians just to get rid of the barbarian king. Whereas minions could get the job done, aim still keep their units, and then get back to work on the camp. We got some barbarians on the west side getting decimated by mortar. And this just goes to show you when it comes to clan wars, especially when you're at Town Hall 8, don't use jump troops like archers and barbarians. You need bigger troops. And I'm sure that he was trying to one star a fairly tough base, and he almost manages to do it. Seemingly the main objective here. Now, the thing that baffles me is the giants come out last, but a lot of the archers could have been protected. Now the clan castle just decimates all of the units. So all the resources were protected, even though in clan wars it doesn't matter, and did not get the victory of 49%. A very good effort, however, some bad troop usage there. Now we have a video from Robert27 on defense against XZH from the Chinese Guild. So they start off by taking out the camp and luring the dragon out. Barbarians cannot attack dragon. However, dragons can attack Arthur. Well, we've got about 20, 25 archers now. What it took to get rid of one dragon. Meanwhile, cannons are picking away at the archers. And having cannons level 8 will one shot. Level 4 archers and a 2 shot level 5 archer. The archer tower of level 8 will 1 shot level 5 archer. The giant comes through after the archer. And they do take out that cannon. The well expired, you still have to deal with 3 mortars. Now some archers on the bottom. This is a common strategy by people who you know you're dealing with a tough base. Try to take out the upside of it and get one star. Oh, the wall breaks down. And the heal spell. And we got more giants. The border is gonna get broken. What I've learned to do is somewhat protect your inner tires, don't have them out in the front. That'll make it easier for the archers to piss off. 
but when they get through one or two your things, this is what baffles me, they throw the healer out late. It should have been used on giant, however it probably would have been thrown to air unit. Robert does have his left very well in the middle. I don't know where he got his base layout from, but don't change the thing, that's not awesome. Power is taking out the healer. Somehow the archer is surviving with the healer. So time expires and Robert gets 35%. Now we're going to go to the bottom of the list and show off a defense from Jason875489, which was brilliant. And I know that people within the clan hate me showing off fail defense video, as I did with Calvin. It's very hard to predict where you put the large bombs, but I can't think of a better way to place them than the way he did. And it's really a gamble, you don't know what side you're going to place them. That's all eight minutes, it's really good. About to hit another bomb. And the hog riders get through and then get decimated by the super power. The archer and corner. And cannon. I have a square shot that seems to be really good. The reason the clan castle is put in the middle so they can't ransack it. 15% damage, no loot. 40 level 2 hogs, level 5 barbarian king, a dragon from the clan defense, and two healers got destroyed. As you can see, 7 days, 20 hours left on the town hall 8, as I just started building that with 2 million gold. Now we're going to show an attack video from AN, which is also a Chinese guy. 216,443 gold, 183,776 on the table. And I send his archers up north. As he does have a mortar fairly unprotected. And he also has a victim unprotected. Let me set some goggles in. The reason I hate that they're fairly tricky targets, and they really do not work well against the area of the A couple things that this guy has done wrong, he's done a bunch of archers to take out that super tower. Now we have almost a clear line of sight to deal with the Zixxer once we get rid of that other super tower. And we do have a dragon available as well. the dragon by itself taking out a bunch of these ground defenders. Now we really have to worry about one archer tower, otherwise we could have got an easy 100% on today. However, almost all the resources were stolen, so we did get the job done. going after the town hall. Even with the heavy mortar and cannon protection, we'll still go down. Well, the town hall is about to get knocked out. That's hot stuff. 85%. Now the dragon is in range for the archer tower. Does still take out the cannon, but gets shot down. As we managed to get 216,443 gold, 176,755 elixir, one dark elixir, and 10 trophies. 
as well as 5,200 gold elixir for the gold three bonus. Very good attack by Hollywood Shono. And this is how I pretty much farm 2 million gold and elixir. So now as an extra treat, we have a defense video from Hollywood Shono. As you can see, I'm upgrading Town Hall to level 8. And I have three other things upgraded in the process. So they sent archers over to the left, which is JNet from Ningas of War. I'm trying to rip off Ningas. So I've played around with some buildings, and I found that protecting the Wizard Tower and the Mortar is more beneficial. Even if it's harder to take out troops. As you can see, they go up top to try to take out some buildings. And there are some cannons and archer towers that are blocking them. And the mortar takes out a bunch of archers. And the way it's set up, I knew that archers would be a very difficult defense. So I tried to set my base up a little bit differently. To protect against archers. And only so much you can do on the left side, but if you have to start them farther out, that does mean it's also further for them to have to go. Even the unprotected cannon does not go down without a fight. There's some minions. There will be no resistance on that cannon now. Now the mortars are still taking out the archers. Another archer goes down. And the wizard is starting to take out some of the minions. And somebody pissed off the dragon as they tried to take out the builder huts. waiting for the rest of the units, and now they have archers coming up, trying to get some easy gold. And it's unprotected. Pissing off the Barbarian King as they send some units out. And cannons are also shooting away at archers, so quite a few archers used to get rid of the Barbarian King, but it is also a distraction. As some archers take out the gold mine. And now the Wizard Tower is in range. That cannon is knocked out. And a bunch of minions put out right on the dragon. He would have put it right where the air defense was. They probably could have won this. So a little sloppy gameplay does give Hollywood Shono the victory. As they managed to steal 18,263 gold, 12,440 elixir, a whopping 3 dark elixir, which is a loss. And I gained 14 trophies out of that. So as we can see, the Town Hall is currently being upgraded to level 8, and we have level 2 dragons being researched. So if you like this video of House Queelix's last clan wars victory, as well as going 4 on 1, and we're also looking for quality recruits that are not idiots and do not wonder about 5 million injustice questions, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Clash of Clans videos, my playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Shono. And have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Shono. Subscribe, bitches!